G'day everyone, welcome back to Measure Twice, Cut Once, uh, the good field DIY making, crafting uh, show that's on every week. And um, I'm Sumo from, well, Dirk from Sumo's Projects. I'll be taking you through uh, for the next however long it takes. And my partner in crime, I'm always proud to introduce a man who's uh, just spent the last eight weeks in quarantine. Um, he had to stay in a bit longer because of his uh, Olympic um Endurance and all that, and uh, yeah, so he's he's right to go again. So one and only Chris Zurich. Good day, mate. Olympic commitments, really, Dirk. Where do you? I reckon you pull these out of your. I'm not going to say it because it's a family show. Um, yeah, but uh, I've been busy lately. I've been doing uh, the video editing. I've been remodeling my workshop, the the stage two of it. So it's all good to go. Uh, as soon as I get up, uh, finish with you today, I'm going to go back out there and try and get all the cabinets up. Um, what's uh, what's in store for the show today? Yeah, good day, Chris. Um, yeah, we've got a we've got a pretty good show today. And uh, but before we uh, advance on to the talking about that, let's look at what we did last week. What did we what do did last week? Yeah, Chris, we had a pretty good show last week. We had a bit of a different uh, philosophical approach to what we normally do, talking about not looking back on things in life. So that was, um, I don't know, worth a try to have a little bit of a different uh, chat about a different yeah. topic. Yeah, it doesn't have to be about woodworking all the time. No, no, definitely not. Or, or crafting of any sorts. Um, mm. That's just life. Um, but we have some interesting uh, news to highlight today. Really? Yeah, Some interesting yeah. news, you say? Yeah, yeah. We uh, we want to introduce a brand new partner to Measure Twice, Cut Once, mate. I should, I should put a fanfare in here somewhere, shouldn't I? Go for it. <laughs> well, I will. <laughs> so, yes, we still have the one and only Nathan from Hammeroo, uh, Scott from Custom Creations, and also our newest and greatest uh, addition to the show is Mind Matter Create, and that is Dave. Dave, I just hit my microphone. I was that excited I hit my microphone. I know, I know, I saw that. And, um, yep, Dave is a uh, YouTuber and also a creator of um, some really good stuff as far as pen blanks, which I know you've got a, a collection of in your shed there. I have, Chris. yeah, I bought a few off uh, Dave, and uh, let me tell you, they are top quality. And they turn really nicely, yep. and they are really, really nice. Terrific. And Dave has a store set up in uh, on a Facebook page he's yes. created, so we'll uh, try to link that to our show notes. For sure. Yeah. I will do and that, yep. Just like to make quick uh, mention of a challenge uh, being hosted by Claire from Making It Out of the Woods. Uh, that's a YouTube channel. Now, the challenge is about making... Uh, it's a hashtag tea light challenge 21. So basically making anything of a tea light holder, as um, long as you have one tea light. And um, if, you know, if people want to be involved in this, they can be on Instagram as well. So uh, it's just a matter of going across to uh, a handle. We'll leave Claire's handle also in the comments below because mm -hmm. it's a bit, bit long to say here. Okay. So there's a few things we have to... Um, Leg warmers to get you to. All right, beautiful. And we've got a cracking show today, mate. So we always have a good show, Dirk. Always. I know. Well, I know. I know. So what do you reckon? We should hook into it, you reckon? Yeah, yeah give it a give it a whirl. Let's go. All right. Let me run my little um jingle. So today's show, Chris, we have uh, the theme, the subject of how do you come up with your ideas when you uh, go to, you know, uh, start up a new project, uh, you want to do something different or you just want to get an idea of how someone may have made something. Um, that's the topic of discussion today, mate, because um, it's, it's something that has a, 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 a broad approach, you know. There's a lot of avenues you can go down to uh, find the you know the intricacies of the project you want to um, you know, embark upon. So, what what do you do, Chris? What's what's something that you would probably start as at? Um, 
Well, I'll be brutally honest. I steal all my ideas from Ainsley. <laughs> oh yes, yes. That's, you can't you can't uh, use that excuse all the time. Oh no, I can. <laughs> she makes a lot of good stuff, and uh, and I'm always I'm always borrowing from her. So uh, yeah, no, no. Look, other than that, um, I guess uh, everybody know, would know by now that I'm a bit of a YouTube junkie. Um, I get a lot of my ideas just for, through watching YouTube. Um, if uh, if I'm watching any kind of TV, um, I, I don't sort of look at, um, you know, what's going on in the TV. I look at the backgrounds, you know, mm. what, what people have got, you know, that sort of stuff. Well, that's, that's, where I, that's where I get my ideas from. What about okay. yourself? Well, before we go down like the regular path, uh, I sometimes can get ideas off television. Now, when I say that, it's not just general TV. It can be like Better Homes and Gardens, and um, mm. you know, there's a there's a segment in there where the guy um, Adam he's a he does things like you know he does woodwork, so he's a carpenter, I think, by trade, and yep. he shows you simple projects. And then then there's other uh, TV shows from the United States where. <clears throat> They're doing renovations of sorts, you know, so a lot of the guys there got workshops and they do give you a, a good visual interpretation of what they're doing. And, and it is it, more or less something that you do find on YouTube. But getting back to YouTube, YouTube is uh, probably the most wonderful place to go if you want to learn anything as in a visual sense. Um, yes. Because it, it's rolling picture, it's moving, you know, it's always, it's always there in front of you. I mean, how many... Stations, are, how many channels are you subscribed to? And you watch all of them, don't you? Uh, well, no, probably not all of them, but uh, I think I'm subscribed to a good uh, 200 odd channels. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't look, I don't watch all of them because uh, a lot of them, from what I've noticed, don't post every week, let alone you know once a month. So, you know, there's some there that I haven't heard from for a while, but um, yeah, look again. Even if I go out somewhere, you know, and I, I think to myself, so I walk through, for example, I'll walk through uh, Harvey Norman, you know, through their furniture section, and they'll have either a, a desk there that's something different or or a chair or something, and I'm thinking, wow, you know, that looks all right. That's, that's a pretty good idea, you know. And I'll try and expand on that, you know, make it make it my own. So, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so um, that's, that's interesting. Like uh, places like Harvey Norman and that, you know, you do see different kinds of uh, models of uh, or modelling of how uh, chair chairs are configured and tables are built. You know, uh, different laminations and things like that. So, mm. as you mentioned, being a visual uh, sort of thing, it's um, it, it's good to get that get ideas off that and uh, I suppose use it back into your own workshop and to make things like that. But you know that's that's a that's a different visual too because it, it, it sort of needs uh, to be photographed then. Whereas if you go to the YouTube side of things, you, you um, it, I don't know anything like movement and uh, that. Uh, in my mind, I seem to grasp a lot easier than just a photo. Whereas a mm, photo yeah. has has to be there in the foreground before I can um, actually you know work around all the different factors that might have to be considered to mm -hmm. replicate that. Yeah, another another one would be um, Pinterest. I use um, Pinterest quite a fair bit as well. A lot of people post um, a lot a lot of good stuff on there as well. Yeah, yeah. So Pinterest, you know, they, they, when we're getting down to, I suppose, talking about uh, photography. So you know, the there's not always step by step building builders plans in um, mm. Pinterest or. Or and and we can talk about Facebook groups and that as well. Yeah, where, yeah. And and um, one of the bigger ones is Instagram. Now, what's interesting about Instagram is they've, they've diversified their their platform to now allow a lot of videos to be on there. So, you know, they're 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 reaching for a target market that say YouTube in the past had pretty much a monopoly on. Um, yeah. how, how do you see that that going? Yeah, no, no, exactly right. Just uh, you just pointed it out to me. I've actually put a few videos up on uh, Instagram as well. So, um, yeah, whether they're trying to expand their platform uh, to encompass that, then um, I, I think they're on the right track. A lot of people look look to be using it. There's there seems to me 
to be a lot more videos on Instagram now. So, yeah. Hmm. But I, I well, still I still use it as a, a good resource material for uh, you know for looking for my ideas. You know to make something. But even market fair. You know if you want to if you want to make something for market fair, you know you look at your Pinterest, you look at your Instagram, and, and get your ideas from there. And then um, and like you said, YouTube. Again, you know, if, if they've got, uh, like, on their thumbnail a decent uh, picture of what they've made, then I'll, I'll go through and watch that video to see how it's made, yeah? Yeah. So I, I, don't, I don't see um, Instagram, in my, in my opinion, to be a how-to and style, same as uh, the category of YouTube videos where, it's more informative because the videos are more detailed. They run longer, and you know sometimes you can get a set of plans for something. Whereas <coughs> uh, something on Instagram will be a very quick thing. You know, it's it's more mm. or less a, a good feel vibe about it. And whilst photographs can give you impressions, um, I, I still think that film is something that is a lot more credible. Um, and, you know, in, in the material that we can then absorb because you can also always watch back and you get a different uh, point of view mm. and, you know, you get ideas in a different manner. It's funny how it works, isn't it? Like a photographer, still image to a rolling image can be so different in so many ways. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. But, do you, I mean, do you, do you sort of go out, you know, stepping away from that side of things, do, do you sort of go out... Because I know you go on your walks every now and then. Do you go on your walk and you see something? You go, oh wow, that looks like a, a good thing I could make. Or uh, well, uh, go on. Yes, yes, I do. It, a lot of the time, it's not something that you haven't seen before, but it's it's in a different spec. It's in a different background, you know. Mm. And I, I think that's a good thing too because you can get take a same image and if you place that in into your own environment it looks so different when it's in someone else's environment you know mm. um the simple things are like outdoor furniture and if it's if it's been handcrafted you you typically see it, it, it can be fit in really nicely into a bush setting you know like my property doesn't have trees all around it but if, if i were to have that I, I would then um get more of a buzz out of seeing how that particular item fits in, mm. uh, you know, but, um, yeah, so I suppose it depends on what space you're living in. So, you know, like you're, you're in a small sort of suburban uh, area. How, how do you, you know, interpret things? Well, that's a loaded question, Dirk. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, look, again, well, like you said, I'm, I'm in a suburban uh, environment here and the, the block that I'm on is pretty small. Um, so I can't, I can't really make anything too big. You know, to to put on my block, but um, I've I've even uh, taken to maybe you know just walk on the rare occasion that I get out and walk. Um, I'll have a look at uh, some of the stuff that's around the suburb, and um, and try and you know make some ideas from that. You know, see if I see like like you said, like an outdoor setting. There's a like a particular outdoor setting. Um, I, I, I look at that and then I start sort of expanding on that outdoor setting, you know, like, oh, maybe if I, if I added this to it or if I, if I took away that part of it, you know. And look, it's, the, the, what I'm trying to do is, is try to make the item uh, a mine, you know, put my spin on it, yeah. you know. So, but, yeah, that, that's uh, – even, even driving down to um, – uh, what's that big store called? Um... Bunnings. No, 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 not not Bunnings. Um, the Swedish one, IKEA. IKEA just fell out of my head. The name fell out of my head. IKEA. I go down to IKEA every now and then and just have a look at the stuff they make, you know. Mm. And I, I try and get ideas from that as well. They've got some good stuff in there. <clears throat> I don't think the uh, the quality of it is 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 a hundred percent. You know, like if I was to make, uh, say for example, they've got a, a bookshelf there. Um, it's just made up of, uh, it's, it's all flat panel stuff, as we know. Uh, mm -hmm. I would make mine a lot more sturdier and, um, and and probably last a lot longer than the IKEA stuff. 
but I couldn't yeah. compete with IKEA's prices. That's the only problem. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. I, I give my some ideas from there as well. Look, and, and we're talking about this today. Not everything necessarily has to be made. Um, when we're looking at the idea of how you get your ideas, that, that could mm. be, um, you know, sort of considered as well. <coughs> we do. We are still uh, people who purchase things. And sometimes we get ideas from, say, like you said, Ikea um, or Harvey Norman or wherever, wherever you shop, you know, it, it doesn't matter. But uh, and then it comes to styling, too. Like you look at um, style of home. So you have to sort of meet that niche or criteria that, you know, that the home is a colonial style of home. So mm. I'm going to be looking at um, making or purchasing furniture that suits it rather than being, you know, modern, retro or whatever, um, yeah. which would which would stand out like, you know, dogs clack clackers. So, mm. you know, that's these are things. I think I think there's a lot to be say, said about uh, stylizing and, you know, people who are into uh, helping other people out in design. Design's mm. a big thing, isn't it, when you think about it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it plays a big part here. For sure. Yeah. So, you know, that's... Um, and another place I find is when you go and visit people uh, or, or makers and just see what they're making at the current time, you know, because it, it's quite interesting how you go, oh, yeah, I probably could make that and need it, you mm. know, have a need for that. So, you know, you, if you come up my way, you might see something I'm making and go, yeah, I could probably try that. Mm. Well, that, that's the other thing, yeah. Um, I, I look around look, my, ha my home here and... Um, and if I need to, like, fill a space, I need to, like, let's say, for example, a hall table, you know. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll have a look and I'll go, oh, you know what, a hall table would fit just nicely in here. That's 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 a great idea. I'll make one of those. Or now that I'm refurbishing my office and I want to get my office set up, I need certain bits of uh, furniture in there now to, to house all this because now I've got two monitors on my, my, my computer desk here. So I need to, you know, fashion something. So again, it's... It's we like you said your environment that you're in. You know you you, you want to um, instead of going out to say like an IKEA and buying a cheap piece of um, uh, of furniture, you want to make that for yourself. And uh, and that's it. Um, and I, I go out and and then make it. You know rather than buy the crap. You know I'll make something. Yeah, and, and you know if all else fails and um, you need a reference point, just watch uh, Cuffy's Woodworks because. Uh, there's not much he hasn't made, which is uh, brilliant, you know. <laughs> it's a, it's yeah, I know, but yeah, it, it is. But um, I'm nowhere near his level of craftsmanship. So compared to him, I'm IKEA. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's a that's a bit of a um, overview, Chris. I think we've touched on uh, where do you get your ideas from. Um, yep. Have you got any other suggestions? Uh, well, again, like I said, I, I steal all my ideas from Ainsley, but uh, every now and then uh, somebody at work will, um, will th because they know I'm a woodworker and I, I, I do, um, I make stuff, they'll come and say, oh, look, I want to make one of these, you know, or, can, can, is it possible? Can you do this? Can you do that? And, I'm, and then I'll, I'll have to go off and um, I'll either say straight off, yes, I can, or yeah. I've got to go and um, check it out first, see if, if it can be made, or um, or how you would go about making something like that. So yeah, a lot of a lot of the people I um, I deal with on a daily basis, they they throw ideas at me as well. Yeah, yeah. But you uh, being a yeah. truck driver, you probably don't get uh, that many people throwing ideas at you. Oh, you'd be surprised because if they know a lot of them know I'm what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, pro Subject to offering you timber and wood and that to, for free, um, they do sometimes have ideas, you know. Would you make that or could you make that, you know, and that's always uh, that's always a talking point as well. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, like, um, yeah, I, I think that's how, how it sort of works. It's, it's a pretty simple philosophy, a principle that um, we're, you know, because we've got two eyes in our head, we uh, mostly take away imagery or video and uh the craft that into our own space and that environment yeah yeah no i agree i agree I, I, the other the other thing i've got is uh, i've got a sister that um 
that's throwing ideas at me all the time. Can you make me this? Can you make me that? Can you make me one of these? I need seven of those. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Liquor it's like I'm sitting around just waiting for her all the time, you know. <laughs> uh, all good, mate. All good. So, yeah, if people uh, have anything to add to that in the comments, please uh, drop, a, drop a comment and I'll reply, as Chris always says. Mm -hmm. Keep them short. Keep them short so I can keep them short. <laughs> but, um, Eric? Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> Enjoy the conversation with Eric, mate. Don't worry about Eric. That. No, Eric's a great one. He's a great one for it. Yep, yeah, good old Eric. Thank you, mate. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, leave us a comment and um, tell us about how you go about doing the same, you know, similar things. So yeah, where you get your ideas from? Um, yeah. do they just pop into your head, or does someone help you with them? Too right. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll call that a wrap, I think, Chris, and uh, let's look forward to what we're doing next week. What are we what doing? Are we doing? Yeah. All right, yeah, what are we doing next week? I don't know. So, Chris, next week we have uh, two dandy old chaps coming onto the show, really good uh, uh, local team players here in Australia, and uh, that will be... Victor from Down Under Woodworks and Mario from the Woodfather Channel. And um, this is actually something that Victor wanted to uh, propose as an idea. So we're, we're letting him steer the ship on this one. And the topic will be, what's the future of YouTube? What will it look like in five to ten years' time? So mm. very, very um, interesting, isn't it? Because um, it's something we probably never, ever thought about. No, no, I, I don't give it a second thought. I'm just sort of um, happy to be on board now, making videos now. So, you yeah, know, whether yeah. I'm going to be making YouTube videos in five to ten years, uh, who knows? No, and that's, um, you know, I suppose things always change and uh, things are changing quicker uh, yes. in, our, in our times. Um, yeah, so there's, there's something really to look forward to. Um, we, we're loving the, the fact that we've got some really fine people coming in to assist and help us out with the show as well so that yeah that, we've had a few know. good uh, we've had a few good uh, guests on lately haven't we and panelists and uh, yeah yeah it, it sort of takes a little bit of uh, you know like you and I probably uh, we, we've spoken a lot on our past videos about you know things that are only of our knowledge to each other and mm. portraying that to the audience and when when you add that extra uh, few voices it just adds a new dynamic which I, I i really i'm enjoying it as a yeah ho as a host with you you know that's sort of getting the maximum out of um what we do here um oh, i just wanted to also mention chris like the challenges we mentioned the uh tea light uh, challenge 21 which is yep. uh, something that um claire from making it out of the woods is hosting but we sort of started something uh, last year in, in order to keep the, the momentum of um, the Australian YouTube scene and then also the international because we've got some really good friends over there all around the world. But just just the hashtag challenges, you know, to um, keep everyone's hand in the sort of on the pulse. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that's been a real rallying point, a real uh, interesting part of what, you know, uh, the community is about because... Let's never forget, without what a proper essence of community, uh, we, we don't have anything. We're all floating in the sea, you know. So keeping us all in the same sort of bay is, um, mm. I think, intricate part of the community. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, well, I 100% agree. Uh, and it sort of keeps you um, keeps you interested, you know, like you, you're out in your workshop and you're, you're making... Now, for example, I'm, I'm making uh, uh, drawers for, for a customer. Not that I do that more more now, but um, you want to do something out of the norm, something mm. different, you know, to get your creative juices flowing. And that's why I reckon these challenges are a great idea, you know, because it makes you think outside the box. Um, and plus, uh, you know, like of uh, the last one, the, the Wood Jigs 21, yep. um, I, made, I made my uh, Mitre Spline jig. And uh, if I, 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 I don't know if if, if the, the challenge wasn't there, I don't know if whether I'd uh, whether I'd really make one. You know, like I, 
I need one because I've got a project coming up that's going to need it. But whether I would have gone out of my way to make it, I don't know. But because the challenge came along, mm. let's uh, let's make it. You know. And, and same for me. It's 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 amazing, isn't it? I, I actually commented to James about uh, that that mere fact that you know I really wanted this jig, but I had put it aside um, as I, as you know I made that um, the flattening jig for the. Um, Oh, what's the machine? The thicknesser. Uh, mm. As simple as, you know, and, and, and it works. And I've seen the other videos and the people were going, pretty much saying the same thing. I had this on the back burner, but now the challenge is available. Uh, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to partake in it and I got something out of the way that I had on the list of to-do things. So um, I, I think, and that's, that finishes end of August, so um, there's, there's a successor already uh, to that and then there's another person taking on after that person oh, so okay. yeah we're, we're keeping things rolling and um i think it's growing too in popularity so i'm i'm pointing the finger at you hoss because it's about time you've uh, thought about of a challenge next uh or maybe next year you, All right. yeah I'll, I'll come up with a challenge um i don't know if many people will take it on because i got one in mind Okay. Well, I'm yeah. not going to tell you what it is now. Ah, uh, you, you won't tell your best friends. Come on. No. Only, no. Only I'm, no. No. I'm going to make you wait. You keep it. You keep everything close to your heart, don't you, mate? I do, mate. Yeah. Um. You know what? I'll introduce it. Uh, episode one of season four. All right. Well, let's let's uh, geez, that's a, that's still a while off, mate. That is a while off, but uh, we've got these other other uh, challenges we have to get through first. I don't want to have to throw another one in the mix. I'll yeah. wait till they're all done and dusted, then I'll throw mine in. Yep. Make, making mention once again, thank you to our partners, and uh, Nathan from Hammeroo, Scott from Custom Creations. Congratulations to the lads because they've now gone into a, the next step of their business, and I think uh, both the guys have got some affiliation with Carbotech. No, oh, okay. Think. And so, yeah, a big kudos and congratulations to them. Uh, we have Dave from My Matter Create, who's uh, just a gentleman. Uh, yes, really he nice. is. Yep. He's, uh, and we're going to advertise what he does a little bit more as we go along. And yep. anyone else who, who wishes to be a partner to the show, please drop us a line. Um, yeah, we're, we're available on many social uh, platforms. So, yeah, if you've uh, got a small people. business, yeah, if you've got a small business you want to uh, advertise, let us know. Yep. And uh, we're happy to grab the ball and run with it. Yeah, too, right. And um, all the people who've supported Measure Twice, Cut Once, your legends, we, we love yous. Um, and fair income without you, we wouldn't be doing this. So that's no. always a, a big thumbs up, you know. Well, thanks, guys. If you're new here, please think about subscribing to the YouTube channel. And you can share, hear us. share, like, and subscribe, Dirk. That's the, uh, the terminology. Share, like, and subscribe. I think sharing is a really caring thing to do, Chris. I see what you did there. Uh, see what I did, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so get on board. We're we're trying to have fun with this, and I hope hopefully it comes across that way because uh, in our day, in our normal lives, Chris and I just talk like this to each other all the time. Yeah. Chris wears a lot, but I, 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 I'm accepting of that. I, yeah, yeah. yeah see what you, I see what you did there, mate. You bluffed your way <laughs> through that one. <laughs> All right. So until until next week, Chris, I think we're about at time, aren't we, for this video? Yeah, I think we're just about to uh, nudge this one out of the park. Um, so just uh, to reiterate, we have um, Victor and um, Mario on next week's show, uh, and we're going to be talking about – YouTube, where is it going to be in five to ten years? And yep. Victor is going to be our moderator. He's going to be, uh, he's going to be the man. Yeah. There was no pressure on the guy, so he no, not at all. Good idea. If he, if he doesn't, again. if he doesn't do a good job, we're pulling the plug on the rest of the shows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that means, Ainsley, you can't come back, and you've upset Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right. Well, I'm going to sign off by simply saying hooroo. All right, and I'll do the same thing and go bye for now and see you all next week. See you, guys.
How do I do that? Like that, I guess. <coughs> like that. I think we're going to have to have a bit of a nana nap after this. You said you were going in the shed. Yeah, I know. I say a lot of things, Dirk. <laughs> I got one. Of, I got one of them. <laughs>